my rare hunters. It is I, Marek. And welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lord's Restored Content. On the last episode, we boarded the Ravager, and we're about to set another mine. The target site. Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Excuse me, it's a proton core. It's an explosive nonetheless. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Two more sites are left. We've lost contact with two of our squads, and we've had to fall back to the docking area. Understood. Try not to give any more ground. I mean, seriously, you're supposed to be skilled Mandalorian warriors. These pathetic Sith soldiers should be nothing compared to your masterful prowess. Have we, do we go over there? We did go over there. Can I kill them before they get up here? No! It's alright, they deserve one kill at least. And uh, on the remains, I shall feast. <laughs> I still hate that I had to take these two. Well, fucking hello! Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, can everybody please take a seat? Nobody took a fucking seat. I very much enjoy slaughtering my foes. They didn't really leave me any cool toys, though. That's what I hate about this game. After a while, you just don't get any good things from remains. Actually, this game really doesn't give you good things from remains anyways. Like, you have to be lucky and hope that you find something nice in one of the, uh, in like a, a cargo container. You've reached one of the target sites. Place the proton core, prime it, then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Only one proton core remains to be set. We're encountering heavy resistance. I don't know how long we can hold out. We're almost done. What the hell was that? I told you to wait. in the target zone. No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right, wait for my signal. This isn't over. And don't kill yourself before I tell you. Um, actually... Mandalore, I know we can where we can get another proton core. No, there's, there's nothing in here. Oh, there's a locker. Wow. Great loot. Hey, where are you going? This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. Your cell? Is there anything you need from there? If there is time, I would like to center myself. 
There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. Alright, uh, all right. hurry up. Past the surface, there is the force. I hope she doesn't take too long to center herself. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. From the death of an entire world comes great power. My hands shall be hate, my eyes revenge. How is she holding her lightsaber like that? You shall be avenged. And the one who has done this shall die. There's nothing more for me here. That sounds creepy as shit. Like the moans of the dead. Vsauce has chosen to embrace vengeance and the dark side. This has given her a stronger connection to the Force and a bonus to her Force points. Why did she go dark Am I dark side? Whoa. She's a little more dark side. Why am I so dark, though? I thought we were closer to light side. I must have done something to change that. Alright, I'm, I'm growing tired of these doors not opening. Move. Alright, now this door leads to a group of enemies. Everyone sit. You stupid kids don't listen to directions very well. Okay, so that leads to the bridge. We are not ready to go to the bridge yet. In fact, there are several things to do before we go to the bridge. Move, Mandalore. I don't want to talk to him. Have you come to kill me? The final insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. Uh, you made your choice, Tobin. You are right. The choice was mine. And you knew what would happen to me. Of course I did. Why did you ally yourself with the Sith? General Vatlu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do. Nothing the Queen could do to stop us. And nothing you could do to stop him. I have served the wrong master. He cares nothing for Onderon, its soldiers, its people. Everything exists to feed his will. I came here, to this dead ship, and now he will not permit me to leave. This ship seems familiar. This ship, it is a graveyard of a terrible battle. Everything on it slowly dies, as long as he hungers. It is the way of all life that serves him. In his presence, all life dies. This ship is from Malachor. This Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. Tobin, why did your master come here? 
The master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos, he may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. But there's nothing here. Telos is a near-dead world. You think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. I told him of the Academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not have kept it from him, even if I had wanted to. Old woman? He means that Jedi witch you travel with, Kreia. Yes, the old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Telos, and my master was forced to come here. But there are no Force users here except me! Then her lies will mean the planet's destruction. He will destroy all of Telos. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all, murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet, the station. He will cleanse it of life. Even if the people below are not Force-sensitive, the small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life on the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no Jedi below, he will have no other choice. And if we deny him Telos... Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. I think Korea knows. She's been drawing him out. If she leaked Telos to your lord, maybe she wanted him to come here and find nothing. He will create nothing. He will end this place. Your old woman has killed this planet, and with it, countless other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop him even if you wanted to. And you cannot escape either. If the Force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. Your time, your life, will end here. Where can I find your master? On the bridge. He waits on the bridge. Is he waiting for me? Waiting for you. No. He does not wait for you. I do not believe he knows his ship has been boarded. And if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words. And his perceptions have grown as well. To him... You are dust motes in a storm. A grain upon the beach. And as insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malakor. Fight him if you will. But if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. And what about his ship? This ship, is it his weakness? It should not exist, yet it cruises the darkness between the stars. He tore it from the mass shadows of Malachor, along with his fleet. That is a measure of his power. <laughs> the ship is barely holding itself together. The structural damage should have destroyed it long ago. He holds it together. And he keeps us all alive. Just enough. Like rot worms within a dying beast. Ha. More Jedi tricks. No. Not Jedi. Not Jedi at all. If he's so powerful, why hasn't he stopped us then? We've attacked his ship, killed his soldiers, and he's done nothing. It is because he sees planets, stars, not people. To him, the planet below, the station with its teeming life, only that is massive enough to demand his attention. Well, I'm here to kill your master. Either help me or stand aside. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moment shall be of shadow and pain. <sighs> Tobin, we need your help. There is nothing. By coming here, you are already dead. If you would save Onderon, traitor, then listen to me. Once he destroys Telos, then Onderon will be among those he will destroy next. Onderon is already doomed. Better a quick death at the hands of the Sith than a slow death at the hands of the Republic.
Fine. Letting you leave on board this vessel seems punishment enough. My only crime was under on salvation. And now those hopes have turned grey. Kill me now, before they are stripped from me forever. Under... Under... My... Under... My own My. on with it on my I literally can't do anything except kill him. I don't think I have ever ever successfully persuaded him to assist me. I don't even know if it's coded in the game. It doesn't even look like it's in this restoration either. Because it's just never happy. Like, I don't even know what it does. Does he actually help? And if so, how does he assist you? And he's more powerful, almost dead, than he ever was before. It is strange. As you acted such Shut up, Beach. It was a strange. Shut up. It's not like I literally didn't have a choice. I could not get out of the conversation without ending his miserable existence. Where is this thing? Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Looks nice out. <sighs> Alright, so we need to find the proton core. It's right here, right? Yeah. Proton core is locked in the missile bay. Okay, there's a thing. Where, where is he? There's the thing. Uh, activate the launch sequence. Override the emergency shit. Has been unlocked from its bay. It can now be removed. I'll take that. Thank you. I believe we'll place the last one here. You reach one of the target sites. Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. That's the last of them, Mandalore. We can destroy the ship on your command. I 
I have one last Sith Lord to kill, and I'll be along presently. Presently? I probably would have said I'll be along shortly. Presently. N no. Because presently in means, you know, the present. Which means now, which I won't be. Right? I don't know. Hey, that one actually opened. Alright. So, we're on the bridge now. Uh, so we're gonna hit wrap this episode up here. On the next episode, we will have our confrontation with Darth Nihilus. Uh, easily one of the most powerful Sith Lords in the existence of history. So if you're excited for that showdown, make sure you hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate the support, and we appreciate the new subscribers as well. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Uh, always remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would be a shame. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the frig out of here now. So we'll see you guys in the next episode.